We got uh, Kevin Noon on the line from Buckeye Grove talking Buckeyes uh, football. Uh, we uh, encourage you to help us build the channel by grabbing the Amazon link down in the description section below. Just uh, use that link when you shop on Amazon. Doesn't cost you an extra penny. Don't have to buy the product. Just do your regular Amazon shopping. So, Kevin, if we look at this quarterback situation, it was such a deep position at this point last year with um, the soon-to-be superstar performance of Dwayne Haskins backed up by four- and five-star recruits in Tate Martell and Matthew Baldwin, who uh, certainly um, is now moving on to TCU. And now it seems to be a very thin uh, depth situation at the quarterback spot and led by a guy that could be a boom or bust in Justin Fields. Right. And, you know, I think that uh, a lot of people will look at Justin Fields and, and see what he did in the spring game. And it, the numbers weren't super impressive at that point. But let's remember, that's a split squad game. A lot of players were held out due to health concerns. They'd had procedures, you know, in the, in the winter, in the spring. He wasn't playing with a full complement of weapons around him. You sit there and you go oh, maybe a little bit more over what he did during the spring when – he had the first team offensive line in front of him. The receivers weren't split up. I think he's going to be just fine. Uh, he definitely brings a running element, that dual threat element, into the game that maybe Ohio State did not have under Dwayne Haskins. I mean, unless you ask Stephen A. Smith, who believes Dwayne Haskins is a much more talented runner than than thrower or whatever that crazy take was. But uh, you know, I, I think I, I think what's going to benefit him too is having guys like uh, KJ Hill and Austin Mack who will be back. K.J. Hill easily could have left to go to the NFL. Probably been a day two selection. Austin Mack got hurt during the season. He will be back. I mean, the emergence of Chris Olave, he's going to have weapons around him. I think that, you know, it's just going to be a matter of how quickly he can pick up the offense. Uh, you know, he's not a guy who's been in any system for multiple years. He was at Georgia for a year, and now he's been at Ohio State for a couple of months. Once he starts to learn the system, once he gets into all of that, I think we'll really see him start to take off at that point. And I, I cannot stress enough just the importance of him being able to bring that dual threat system back into play. Uh, will he run it the way that JT Barrett ran it? No, probably not. JT Barrett was just, you know, he was pro level masterclass when it came to that read option. But I think that, you know, from everything I've seen and all my beliefs, that Justin Fields is a better thrower than JT Barrett was. So, with that being said, I think he will really be able to to run a full complement of the offense. Will we have 51 passing touchdowns, Big Ten records left and right from Justin Fields? Probably not in a season, but I think he is a, I think he will be the guy. I think he will, he will surprise a lot of people this season. Yeah. So he didn't get many opportunities to open it up uh, when he played at Georgia. If he got into meaningful games, uh, the defense was very much clued into what was going to happen. He was able to throw it a little bit in the garbage time against the weaker opponents. So for those of us who haven't really seen uh, Justin Fields open it up, and and uh, do you think there's any comparison based on what you've seen to Dwayne Haskins in terms of throwing ability? Uh, because JT Barrett obviously had his limitations, but making the Haskins-Fields comparison just as a thrower. I think Justin has a, has a strong arm. I think he can sling the ball over the field. Does he have that accuracy? Probably not the same accuracy at this point, but it, it, it took a while for Dwayne Haskins to become Dwayne Haskins. And uh, I think as the year goes on and he he works with Ryan Day and he works with Michael Yersich, I think he will come along in terms of, of being able to put that together. I mean, Dwayne Haskins was a generational type of thrower. I think that it's very difficult to sit there and compare anybody to him and say, well, you have to be at such and such level for this to work. That, that's, that's, a, that's a hard ask for anybody, especially a kid who's only a couple years out of high school. But I think he will go down as one of the better throwers, at least in recent memory in terms of Ohio State quarterbacks. And as we go through the years, I mean, let's remember, we've seen a lot of distributors in terms of, of Ohio State quarterbacks. I think Justin Fields will be able to excel and be, and, and be a very prolific weapon in terms of throwing the ball. We got uh, Kevin Noon on the line from Buckeye Grove. Uh, encourage you to stop there uh, for top level uh, coverage of Ohio State football. And uh, please join us on Patreon as we've got the Voice of College Football community revved up there with two exclusive live streams each and every week where I talk to you directly, bring on you, the viewer, you, the part of the community, and discuss college football and just have at it. And of course, I address your viewer comments over 36,000 year to date on uh, college football. 